David Mermelstein was going through a tragic time in his life. First, his father passes away, so he's grieving from that. Then uh, a month or so after that happens, he's diagnosed with brain cancer. Mermelstein's attorney, Rob Marcero, says friends took the Angels fan to a game to lift his spirits. Instead, his client, who already had limited vision in his right eye, ended up blind in the left eye and filing a lawsuit against the Angels. It impacts everything he does. I mean, he really doesn't drive anymore because of his vision. He can't do any of the activities he used to enjoy. And on top of that, he's still dealing with having cancer treatment. Um, but he's He's now facing the prospect of being permanently blind in the future. According to a complaint filed this week in Orange County Superior Court, it happened nearly a year ago during a game against the Royals. Mermelstein was sitting in the outfield when he looked down to eat some peanuts. There was a roar from the crowd, caused him to look up just in time to see a baseball careening towards his face at high velocity. He tried to get a hand up to stop it. He wasn't able to do it in time. It smashed into his face and it hit him so hard that it crushed his eyeball, kind of like a grape being hit with a hammer. Marcero says then Angels outfielder Juan Lagares, one of the defendants named in the complaint, threw the ball to the crowd during a warm-up. You don't throw it overhand at high velocity randomly into a crowd. The attorney representing the plaintiff tells me he plans to file an amendment to the original complaint to clarify exactly when during the game the alleged ball throw occurred. We reached out to the Angels, but a spokesperson tells me they don't comment on pending litigation. Reporting in Anaheim, Jessica Renova, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.